Hello French learners, welcome to my channel Speak French Like Natives. My name is Abhilasha and I'm your French language trainer. In my previous module, we have learned about chapter 4. We have done some exercises and also we have learned about a verb to be, how to talk about nationalities and how to tell your nationality in French. Now in this chapter, I'll be teaching you articles, indefinite article and also we'll be covering how to use nouns with indefinite article okay or how to present something to someone now this is chapter 5 as you can see here leçon 5 and the name of the lesson is didu a un crayon et une règle means didu has a pencil and a scale okay so let's start so it is written here présenter quelque chose which means to present something how do you why do you say un crayon et une règle. Why you use this thing? A and une. Okay? Because in French, all nouns have a gender. That is, they are either masculine or feminine. We add an S to the noun to make it in plural form. So, what happens generally is that in French, nouns have genders. Some nouns are masculine, some are feminine. So, for masculine, we write un. And for feminine, we write une, okay? And if we, if we have any noun in plural form, then we write des. So, we these are indefinite articles. So, as you can see, it is written here, l'article indéfini, indefinite article. So, for masculine, we have un. For feminine, we have une. For plural, we have they. So, we have uh, the, the similar articles we have in English. For example, a, an, and some. Some. Alright. So, these are indefinite articles in English. So, here you can see a crayon, which means the crayon is masculine, which means pencil. So, in French, pencil is masculine. Alright. So, if you want to say a uh, for example, you want to say a pencil, so you would say a crayon. Okay. Similarly, a stylo, a stylo is pen. So if you want to say a pen in French, so you would say a stylo. And your this un will tell us that the pen is masculine in French. Similarly, when we talk about scale, which is a règle, or you can say règle. This is feminine, so we put U and E. Similarly, gom, which is an eraser, this is feminine, so you would write U and E before it. So these U and E will show that these nouns are feminine. Similarly, if you want to make plural of them, for example, a pencil, some pencils. A, uh, a pen, a pen, some pens. A scale, some scale. Okay, or you want to say uh, an eraser, some eraser. So for this we add des. All right. So it is written here. A is a and masculine singular. Une is a and feminine singular. And they we use for plural. All right. So let's learn about them. And here, as you can see, it is written. The English vocabularies and you have the French of it. For example, father. Un père, des pères. A father, some fathers. Un frère, des frères. A brother, some brothers. This is used for some. Okay? And this becomes plural, so we need S in the end. Un ami, one friend. Des amis, some friend. Un crayon. One pencil, des crayons, some pencil. Un stylo, one pen, des stylo, some pens, plural with S. Un livre, one book, des livres, some books. Un cahier, one book, one notebook, des cahiers, plural, some notebooks. Un cartable, one school bag, des cartables, some school bags. A tai crayon, one sharpener, des tai crayon, some sharpeners. 
un ballon, des ballons. Un chocolat, one chocolate, des chocolats, some chocolates. Un bobo, one candy, des bonbons, some candies. Un sandwich, one sandwich, des sandwiches, some sandwiches. Un hamburger, one hamburger, des hamburgers, some hamburgers. So you can see these all are masculine. So this is why they have written UN and they are plural. So they have written DES. Similar happens in feminine case. So you can see here, une mère, singular, des mères, plural. Une sœur, singular, des sœurs, plural. Une gomme, des gommes. Une règle, des règles. Une chaise, des chaises. Une table, des tables. Then we have une trousse, des trousses. Or we can say trousse. Une montre, des montres. Une horloge, des horloges. Une voiture, des voitures. Une glace, des glaces. Une pizza, des pizzas. Une pomme, des pommes. Means one an apple and some apples. Une boîte repas, which means a tiffin box, des boîtes repas. So here you have to put S, okay? Here we do not put S because it already has S, okay? Une bouteille d'eau, one water bottle, des bouteilles d'eau, some water bottles, okay? So you understood this is how we make the plural of nouns from singular to plural, okay? So these are some examples, some vocabularies. I would request you to please learn them by heart, okay? Because these vocabularies will help you to make sentences. Now, when we talk about how to present something, for example, we have two words. Okay, so first is guess, que, say. The first we have, which is guess, que, say. I repeat, guess, que, say. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Which means, what is this? Okay, or what is this? Or what are these? Okay? What are these? Qu'est-ce que c'est? So this qu'est-ce que c'est we use for animals or things. Okay, so I'm writing here. For animals and things. So for example, in front of you, we have an animal. Okay, or anything, not a human body. Okay, so you will ask qu'est-ce que c'est? What is this? Okay, so in answer, you would say, for example, say, it is, so this means, it is, then whatever your object. So for example, it is a bag. So we would say, say, a cartable. C'est un cartable. So we would say, c'est un, because this is T and this is U. So the sound would be TAN. Because this T sound will be attached with the, this U sound. C'est un cartable. This is a school bag. So this, this is, this is a school bag. Okay? Similarly, if you have, for example, it is written here. Qu'est-ce que c'est? What is this? C'est un cartable. And this is a thing. This is why we are using qu'est-ce que c'est. Similarly, qu'est-ce que c'est? C'est une boîte repas. This is a tiffin box. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Now here you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 books. Matlab means this is plural. Okay? 
so we would write i have written here what is this or what are these so my question would be what are these okay qu'est ce que c'est ce sont des livres these are books so i'm writing here say we use for this is and ce sont we use for these are okay which means this is for plural and this is for singular so here we can say books are plural because there are many so you would write these are okay so it becomes ce sont ce sont des livres these are books now books means plural so you have to use des ce sont des livres again qu'est ce que c'est c'est une règle here the the scale is feminine if you are if you remember i taught you you so règle is uh, this feminine so c'est une règle c'est une règle again qu'est ce que c'est what are these ce sont des cahiers because ce sont we use for plural and des cahiers means two books so we have to use des okay for plural we use des again Qu'est-ce que c'est? C'est un stylo. It is a pen. And pen is masculine, so un pen. Qu'est-ce que c'est? C'est un crayon. Pencil is masculine, so and one pencil, un crayon. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Ce sont des bouteilles d'eau. These are water bottles. So two, so ce sont, these are water bottles. Two, so des, with an s, okay? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Ce sont des gommes. Again, you can see this is plural. So, I would use plural sentence because two is a ce sont des gommes. Qu'est-ce que c'est? C'est une trousse. This is a bag, a pencil bag. So, this is single. So, I'm using c'est. This is. Trousse is a pencil box which is feminine. So, you. Next, we have. Qu'est-ce que c'est? C'est un taille crayon. So, taille crayon is sharpener and sharpener is masculine. Okay, un. So, it becomes un taille crayon. So, I hope this is clear to you. Okay, and next we have which is. You can see it is written here. Qu'est-ce que c'est? What is this? C'est un. Or c'est une, this is a, for plural we use ce sont des, okay, these are and then whatever your object is. For example, c'est un, une table, because table is feminine, so I would use une, okay, and for pen I would, I would use crayon. But for tables, if you have many, so I would use des tables, okay. So I, I hope this is clear to you. So that's it for today. In the next video, I'll be covering the next part of this chapter. Till then, stay happy, keep learning and thank you.